Personal EMP protection can be as simple as a, a little box that you keep your sensitive electronics in, such as a cell phone or emergency radio or whatever of any size, any size box. Just simply coat it with the uh, aluminum foil to make a simple Faraday cage. The only important thing is is that the electronics do not touch the foil and you have a continuous uh, a continuous um, electronic uh, con electronic uh, conductivity along the outside of the box for the EMP strike which is similar to a uh, radio wave or a lightning strike but don't get them confused but similar to those it will take the path of least resistance to the ground but like I said you can do something simple as this or if you want to do more advanced you can go to um, like Michael's and get a uh, a little foam mat like this, and uh, one of the other things you can do if you want to protect larger electronics in a more a more secure uh, area is you can actually go down and pick up a military ammunition can, one of the metal ones, and um, let's take a look here inside here. first thing you'll notice is that the inside is we have a totally conductive seal all the way around the top. The metal has been removed underneath the foil and the foil has been wrapped all the way around the gasket and they're creating a, a conductive surface all the way around. The next thing you'll notice is that the paint has actually been removed from the top of the can. So therefore if an EMP strike happens um, the electrons that are stripped from the upper atmosphere will immediately take the path of least resistance and travel on the outside of the can. Now there are sensitive electronics inside this can. Let me adjust this camera here. There are a lot of electronics in here such as, you know, radios and, um, you know, some ham equipment and etc. These will all survive an electromagnetic pulse due to the fact that the pulse itself will run on the outside of the can. But it is absolutely critical that the lid is actually connected electrically uh, allowing for a, a electron flow there over the whole surface. And that nothing inside actually touch the, um, the metal of the can or it will create a direct short there and go. Uh, this can has been totally lined with this foam here if you see. Uh, the walls have totally been lined with it, so nothing inside the can actually touches the metal itself. And that's basically MP protection. Um, <clears throat> you can do this for, like I said, your ham equipment or your radio equipment or anything else you want to protect over time, but anything connected to the wall through a power cord when an EMP hits, if it hits, God forbid, uh, you're going you're gonna to lose it. Alright, and this concludes my, my little short thing on EMP. Have a great day.